What's going on all you happy little souls out there? My name is obviously Grim, and today we're going to be talking about the easiest way for you to make gold. Let's go ahead and get into it. When I first started playing Mortal Online 2, I've seen a bunch of different videos on you can make X amount of gold in X amount of hours, the best gold making techniques, but one thing those videos forget to mention is generally you have to be a specific build to be able to do that. But that's not necessarily the case when it comes to making gold. You don't need a specific type of character. There is no specific meta that you need to adhere to to make gold in this game. You can make gold simply by playing the type of character that you want to make. And that's what we're going to get into today. One of the best things about Mortal Online 2 is its player driven economy. It doesn't matter whether you are a crafter making armor or a traveling book salesman, yes that is a viable way of making money. It doesn't matter if you go around gathering things, you can make money off of that on the player market. And the reason that is, is because Mortal Online 2's map is so vast that there are region specific books, there are region specific um, gatherables like this, so it doesn't matter what you do, what you build your character to do, you can make money off of it in the player market. And one of the best ways to do that is by simply doing a little market research. All you gotta do is go into a market broker, go up to this little drop down here, and choose any broker, just like that, and then search up what you wanna sell. So let's take a look for Muse Fruit. And look at that. Toksai, you can sell just 2,000 Muse Fruit for 20 gold. And look at that. In Tindrum, a stack of 10,080. And these do sell. And the reason they sell so well in Tindrum and Toksai is because these fruit, you can only get them in the jungle region. And Toksai is a long ways away from that. Tindrum is a long travel away from that. So all you gotta do if you're ever going down to the jungle is just stop by a banana tree, because that's what Muse Fruit is, and just collect them. And they are in abundance in the jungle. So you can get a ton, and you can sell them very, very well. And you can see that Muse Fruit is not selling well in Bhakti, and the reason for that is Bhakti is literally right next to the jungle. So, depending on where you're going to be selling, you're going to be making more or less gold. So, doing a little market research before you throw them on the market is probably a good idea. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you're doing in Mortal Online 2, what you built your character to do, you can make money off of it. Like I said before, you can be a book salesman, you can be a scales salesman, you can be a hunter, a gatherer, you can be an armor crafter, weapon crafter, you can make money off of that in the player market. The biggest thing you gotta remember to do is do your market research so you know where to sell your goods. Because remember, depending on where you are, they could sell for more or less. Now the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is how to work the player market. Most YouTubers I've seen talking about this on any game that has a market, in fact, they'll tell you to just, you know, undercut your competition. You know, put it for a one gold less, one dollar less, whatever it may be, and yours is going to sell before them. But the issue with that, that you can even see happening here, is people do that. And then somebody's gonna come in and they're gonna do that to you. You can see it went from 12 to 10, and these are 10,000 stacks. This is the most you can put on the market. And it's just gonna keep going down. So you dropping it one gold less than the player before you, it's just gonna end up starting a vicious cycle of somebody coming in and doing the exact same to you. And that's gonna kill the market for that item. It's gonna make it so yours takes a little longer to sell at the end of the day because there's always gonna be another person selling this. So the best thing for you to do is try and match the price. That is going to make it so your sells, your competition sells, and it's going to sell a little quicker than it would if you put it for 10 and then somebody came and put theirs for 9. It really is as simple as just matching your competition's price. Because they're not your competition at the end of the day, they're just another person trying to make gold just like you. So don't kill the market. Match the price of the player before you, and all will be right in the world. That's going to keep that price high, and that's going to keep the market flourishing for that item. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know your gold making methods in the comments below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're new. I hope all you happy little souls out there have a great rest of your day. I will see you in the next one.